the energy vibration reading for the Leo Sun Moon and Rising. It is the first week of October 2017, and the week begin from the second until the eighth of October. So I want to say to each and every person, thank you for being here. Thank you for coming back. Thanks to all my subscribers and new subscribers. Please like, share these videos. Listen to your Sun Moon and Rising sign. This week is the week of the heart energies, and the earth energies have the energy vibrate the zodiac energy of the hair. This is going to be a wonderful week because new opportunities and doors of opportunities are going to be opening up for you, um, which you weren't expecting. Unbelievable! This will be opening up. So, new portal of energies are opening up for you, especially for the young people. Okay. You have one major arcana energies, uh, uh, two major, three major arcana, four major arcana energies. You have the wheel of fortune also. Oh my god, this is beautiful! So, you have the magician, you have judgment, you have the wheel of fortune, and you have the tower. This is a very positive to have so much major arcana working with you in a week. So, we are going to see what is happening for you guys because this is going to be very very positive um let's see we have um the tower is 16 that is 7 1 10 so let's go further to see what's happening with you guys the prince of wands is here you are here happiness and joy you bring in magic you have the queen of sword there is the tower whoever this um person was the tower is breaking down okay let's go and see what is happening on monday you have uh, the knight of Pent the, the magician and this is positive because on monday each and every person each and every one of you leos are going to be able to work whatever the situation out with this prince of a sword okay so whatever is really happening in your life you are going to really see and work out whatever situation is going on with this prince of a sword so a lot of you are going to be looking back and um, realizing what is happening and how you're going to work out situation with this prince of swords so this is going to be good and this um, person is going to affect you so the prince of swords could be an aquarius a gemini or a li a libran okay whatever is happening is that a magician is going to show you a way how you can um, solve this situation okay on tuesday what we have on Tuesday is the nine of swords in reverse and this is good because what whatever is happening um, the prince of wands whoever you are you are between the ages of a zero and 35 and your worries are there no longer you are not worrying about anything no longer everything is falling into place as it must as of divine timing so whatever that you were worried about you're no longer worrying about this you're letting it go and you're moving on which is a very good as we move forward we have a the crowning of the week on Wednesday the eight of cups so a lot of you will be leaving something behind and moving to better waters you are going to be using the energy of the Prince of Pentacles and the Prince of Pentacles is Merlin he comes in in the form of Merlin that he's going to help you to work a little magic so the Prince of Pentacles is a wonderful person and what is happening is that he is going to help you to work magic in your life and you are going to be realizing how wonderful and how powerful this is because um, you're leaving something and you're working your magic you're moving on to something better so go get whatever you want we have the four of cups and uh, um, you are having regrets about a relationship um, happiness is uh, but you know let it go because um, uh, if you were happy in this relationship why are you being unhappy now because there's nothing that should make you unhappy once you're happy in a relationship you're ha you're happy what it is that you are regretting and you know the focus could be on the men as the women and you're looking for happiness in a relationship so you know sometimes it's just that you are just not um, being realistic 
so um, you're hoping for something that is not achievable and this is what is happening to some of you people and you know be aware you know sometimes we are reaching for the star but um, and I always say reach for the star but on the ways you find um, certain things that will teach you lessons um, that as when you reach find a star and have the star that you keep the star um, the light of this energy burning okay so happiness is coming in Thursday is a very good day for a lot of this uh, Thursday is the day in this week as we move on we have on Friday the energy of the Queen of Swords and whatever is happening with the energy of the Queen of Swords there is a tower energy blowing up so whatever is happening with you and this Queen of Swords the Queen of Swords could be your wife or your girlfriend or that sort of a thing she could be a Libran uh, a Gemini or a um, Aquarius but whatever happened <laughs> there is fireworks and it's not good fireworks As we move on to Saturday, we have the energy vibration of judgment. Judgment is happening for you on Saturday because that um, um, storm that developed between you and the relationship that you are having um, is going to affect your children. I see a lot of this affecting your children. Whatever um, that happened is a judgment, and this is going to affect your children, okay, the lives of your kids. So I see the Six of Cups here, and the Six of Cups can be um, your kids is always seen as uh, your soul family because they come back in lifetime to help you work out certain situations. So whatever is happening, you are going to have situation that is happening with your children. If you don't have kids, it's going to be someone from your past life. It's going to be a cosmic relationship that you need to heal. Okay. We're moving on, and on Sunday, this is good. Sunday is going to be your best day in this week because you have the wheel of fortune, which is your energy vibration. Whatever you want to do on Sunday, go for it. It's a yes, okay? So if you're planning to do something on Sunday, go for it. It is a yes. The energy of the emperor, if it's your work, go for it. If they ask you to do extra time, overtime, whatever it is, go for it because it's going to help you to provide financial security for your family so this is going to be good the wheel of fortune is bringing a lot of people new work if you were called and asked to come in on Sunday do it because it's going to happen for you this is going to work out in your favor so it's as if you some people are going to receive a contract or in the coming week receive a contract for new work okay whatever it is because it's achievement it's also financial stability the wheel of fortune is bringing some people work some people um, stability in their life some people financial help in their life that's sort of a thing um, some people may be asked to come on board to work as a partnership in a firm and this is going to be good so this is a, a, a good good possible so Sunday good news um, if you don't hear it on Sunday, it's going to be on Monday of the following week. Um, whatever is happening, the energy of the magician is here on Monday, helping you to deal with a situation with the Prince of and this this Prince of Sword could be someone at your work, and um, it's all about work in this week because um, the two of ones is when new doors are opening up. So it's all about work, um, connecting with someone. To bring um, you know beautiful energies beautiful situation in so this is going to be positive so whatever the situation is you need to understand and you need to know that life is about to begin for you whatever is happening on Friday there is going to be a huge huge argument on Friday this is going to blow pieces out of the water there's going to be an extremely huge argument on Friday now, whatever is happening on Saturday but on Sunday good news is going to happen because this is if you're going to hear um, that they will need extra people on and they are going to be needing you so new contracts new business new companies new um, invitation are coming in for work um, happiness on t Thursday was a lovely wonderful day whatever you have done um, the you know your wife or girlfriend or whatever there is going to be a huge outblast with someone who is an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra okay 
So let's go. Let's see what is happening. The great thing about materialistic things, those you have and those you don't, is that they never lie about what you have been thinking. What a relief. Uh -huh. So this is good. So whatever is happening for you, Leos, the great thing about material things is that those things never lie. Okay, these are um, wonderful positive energies that are coming in. You need to understand and you need to be aware of the transformation. And this is good. Look at the back of this card. I just so love these cards. They're so powerful. It is uh, a note from the universe. And this is such a positive thing. Um, the, the creator of this card, he travels a lot. So he um, have all these speeches and he has made them with the energy, the message from the universe, which I think abundance universe, which I think was very, very wonderful. That's why I bought it because I like buying strange cards um, because this one really resonates with me. A picks all these pictures and this is how you should feel in this month you Leos and I want to say to each and every one of you I'm wishing you a wonderful powerful week please share like these videos thumbs up and I will speak to you next week